Thank you very much. Well, it's a great pleasure to be with you today to consider the future of logistics. And uh, what I want to do is to create um, an informal conversation about the future. And I'm going to do that for the, for the next 45 to 50 minutes, after which the floor is yours. Because what's important is not my views of the future, it's your view of the future. And uh, uh, I, I'm going to share with you some personal insights. I don't necessarily believe everything I'm going to say. My purpose is to provoke us to think freshly. Now, I work with many of the boards and senior teams of the largest multinationals. It could be, um, and with their clients as well, it could be a Google one day, Microsoft the next, Hewlett Packard, ExxonMobil, BP Shell, DHL, FedEx, whoever. And with every company, there is the same issue. And it is perhaps one of the greatest risks in any institution. And what is the risk? The risk is that we find ourselves surrounded by people who have been in the same industry for quite a while, and we begin to develop what I call institutional blindness. Uh, it's a possibility. Can you put your hands up if you have been inside this community for more than three years? More than three years, okay. More than five years, uh, more than seven years, and more than 10 years. Okay, now most psychologists would say that when we change job, we move from one organization to another, it's often uh, we get our sharpest understanding, our sharpest insight in the first six weeks. And then after that, we gradually uh, become part of the system. Okay, so what I'm aiming to do as someone who is outside of your industry is to try to provoke some fresh thinking. Uh, I'm not in your industry. You know much more about it than I do. So, uh, but uh, here goes. And uh, you know, the future is full of uncertainties. And for EasyJet or for DHL, <laughs> uh, you may think that actually it's just unlucky. And the fact is that there's a lot of, uh, of things around in our world that are very unlikely things. You think, if that was to happen to us, it would be so unlikely. It's so unlikely that we don't even consider it. But there are hundreds of such wild cards inside your business. In fact, in every one of your big clients, every one of your multinational giants that you handle the supply chain for, in every one of them, there are wild cards. In fact, I can tell you, that my clients would consider DHL to be a wild card. Because one of their risks is that something will happen one day and something starts to go wrong, perhaps with your computer systems or your communication, or something happens. And you might say, oh, it would never happen. Not once in a hundred years. Well, that's a wild card risk. One percent per risk, one percent per year risk is a wild card risk. But the trouble is, for my clients, and for you too, there are hundreds of these risks, which means that the chances of one of these things happening to them in a three-month period is actually quite high. When we think about the subprime crisis, for example, that is a typical wild card risk. It was a relatively a low probability event, apparently according to the banks, but it started to go wrong. In fact, I can tell you that there are hundreds of other highly complex financial instruments that have been created, uh, and particularly connected with hedge funds, which could also have gone off, and which still could. So we live in a world which is uncertain. And as we have seen recently, when events happen in one area of the economy, they trigger apparently unrelated consequences elsewhere. And this means we have to have a different way of managing our future, the old days, we used to have one strategy. The days of having one strategy for, for a Deutsche Post or DHL is coming to an end. Why? Because the world changes faster than you can develop a strategy. It changes faster than you can even hold a board meeting. So what it means is that we are required to have a main strategy, a main plan, but we have plan A, we have plan B, we have plan C as well. And you know um, how, these things, how quickly these things can happen in terms of a new merger or an acquisition or whatever. 
So uh, SARS and bird flu are other examples of potentially disruptive events which come crashing in and affect us, especially in logistics and distribution. And yet every wild card is an unexpected sales opportunity somewhere for someone who is well prepared, as, be, as well as being a logistical challenge.